Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Jinto. We're picking up exactly where we left off. Episode 2 in the Outlast Whistleblower DLC. Now, as always, I hope you guys enjoy. If you do and you want to see the next episode right away, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Try not to have a heart attack. I love you. <laughs> Thanks for the support, guys. Now, let's get into it. Let's see here. Yeah, you can't hop over. So do I just go this way? <laughs> I'm opening this bad boy slow. Something is up. Something is up. What are you guys doing? What did he do? This guy looks innocent. And you guys are gonna just do him dirty like that? You should be ashamed of him. <laughs> you should really be ashamed of yourself. That's not nice. I wonder are we gonna see... What was his name? Chris Walker. You know the big guy that would always... You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be. Do it. Really? Oh, crap. Sorry. Oh, no. See, I knew he was gonna do something like that. We gotta cross him. Oh, cross him. Cross him. And just close the door and we're good. See, if I didn't play the first one, I would be. Oh, shoot. Where can you hide? Oh! What the? I'm not about to help you. Sorry. Every man for himself. Wait. Is it? Um. There's nothing in here? What? Then why is this room even in the game? Am I tripping? Hold up, man. I feel like a noob. I really do feel like a noob. I guess this was just a hide and... Oh. Yeah, I feel like a noob. You know what I'm glad? I thought they were going to go OD with the jump scares because you know the first one, it gained a lot of idea. We get out of here through section and then Merc tactical clean it up. Get here in time. We need help now. If we get them on the radio, the National Guard could be here with it. We don't even know if the radio works. It's shortwave. If the prison's got electricity, they've got signal, and the lights are on. Work on the sun control. Yeah, I noticed. We need to get to that radio. Outside help doesn't come without outside attention. You want responsibility for every legally shaky thing you did on the Mercon Company payroll? I know I don't. It's too late to worry about that. This just has to stop. Be scared. You're not thinking straight. Let me make something. I can't even hear the dialogue now. He's gonna do a jump scare too, aren't you? Aren't you? Damn! How'd I burn that much battery already? I didn't even do anything. I didn't even go anywhere. Hmm. Wait, huh? Where where do I go? I came from right there. And, okay, I think we just got to move this. Yeah. I guess with the DLC, they went... What the... F what are you doing? You can't leave with me. I guess... Okay. <laughs> Everybody right here is just acting weird, man. I don't know what the heck is going on. I don't know what the heck is going on. I guess we just... The only way you can go right now... Is forward. You hear that, right? Go, 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 go. What was that? See? That's him. He just has these outbursts. I don't know. I guess... we're. I don't know. Shoot. No way. I want to see what that is, though. I guess we just don't get to see what that is. Was it you? Help me, please. I'm a doctor. I need to get hold of my... You're not security. I was... I'm a patient like you. So these folks from us... Close that door. door. You gotta get me out of here. Please, just push the button. Open the door. We can get out of here together. The last time I trusted somebody, that was Father Martin. 
And you know exactly what happened, right? We got screwed. Big time. I wish this was like infamous. You could choose, but you got no choice. Damn. <laughs> just did him dirty. You really just did him dirty. Now what? Okay. Do we just leave now? Yeah, that makes sense. Now we can leave and just go that way. <sighs> yeah, but that just means that... You hear that, right? It's not me tripping. Let's run. Should I go this way? Whoa! Whoa! What was that? What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Shoot! I'm reloading. Leave me alone. Go, 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 go. Open! Oh my gosh! I can't... I'm stuck! Wow! No freaking way. Go! Go, 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 go. I know you got that speed. You can't go that way. Go, go, go. We don't need this camera. Save that battery. Say, oh! Yeah, you can't come in here. We're good. That's some... What the heck is going on over here? Hmm. Haven't found any documents yet. Maybe I, I won't find documents because there's no one else writing before me. Tuh. You know, let's just see what's going on here. Mr. Grant. Ms. Grant, you may receive requests for information from a Mrs. Lisa Park of Leadville Co. In the coming weeks concerning the resignation and hospitalization of her husband, Waylon. If so, please forward them to my personal attention. Wayland Park, former consulting contract 8208, resigned due to previously undiagnosed mental illness. I personally visited Mrs. Lisa Park and her sons and broke the news to them. With the silver lining that Murkoff Psychiatric would be graciously providing treatment. Mrs. Park had some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Murkoff Corporation. I assured her that with her power of attorney, she could try to fight the doctor's diagnosis of her husband's illness. However, if it were discovered that he resigned under false pretenses, his insurance would be canceled and the family would be saddled with not insignificant health care debts. However, oh, hopefully she understood, but if she insists on making a nuisance of herself or tries to get around me, please let me know. This is one I want to take care of personally. Yours, Jeremy Blair. Okay. Okay. And, um, that was cool. So they basically just killed me off right there. They're, they're trying to do me dirty. But one thing about Murkoff code, they always cover themselves, so not so many people know about this stuff that's going on. Wait. What's over here? That music, man. It gets me every time. The music always gets me. Seriously. Can I come up here? Can I? Let's see. Uh, Anything? I hear, like, some power surge. You know? <laughs> this ain't Spider-Man 2. Amazing Spider-Man 2. I can't touch it and become Electro. That would be dope, though. If I could just get electric powers, I'd be able to stop everybody. If I could become Electro. <laughs> but that ain't happening. Okay, so what's in here? This is a secret room. You know there's something in here. Come on. A room in the cut? The old Gento would just run past this room. And there's not a single thing here. Wow. Hold up. You know, the best way to look for batteries is in the dark, but that's crazy. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. That room was in the cut. You would have sworn that there was something there, right? I guess not. You can't always go with the obvious route. Ooh. Who is that? Is he eating him? 
He is. He is going beast mode. He's eating it like it's some lobster, some chicken alfredo, some chipotle. Damn. This is like Hannibal. But this is worse than Hannibal. Where is he? Yeah, it's... The music is changing. The music is changing. This is not a good idea. It probably smells horrible in here, man. <laughs> That's, uh, forgot his name. Remember the old guy we hit with a two piece? We had him with a bop bop. That's him before he went full psycho. Oh my gosh. Save some for later. He just sucked his intestines like it was a noodle. This man is going beast mode! Really? Look at his eyes! He's like, mmm. I think he's just gonna keep chopping. I don't think we get to see any more from him. Yeah, if he does it again, then I'm just leaving. He's got a Coke on the side? <laughs> he's about to go beast mode and wash it down with a Coke! What the? <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, what do you expect? There's a Coke machine here.